<laughs> oh god. Okay, we, go. we can lie. Hey. <laughs> I already got a, already got a good comment. Thank you, Jay. Hey. <laughs> what up, Jay? Um, welcome <laughs> back to Hey Say Week Two, guys. As you can see, AJ is still dead from the last stream yesterday. We were serious <laughs> about that. He is gone. Uh, we are we are here uh, with our friend Marcus, who owns a store that you may or may not have heard of called uh, Toku Collectibles. Uh, it's a new store. It's a new store, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New kid on um, the block here. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get started, we're just going to go over, uh, oh, you know, what, what we have going on. Uh, you know, obviously this week we have all kinds of events. Um, you know, we have our photo contests. Uh, you know, we have the Team Comrade jerseys, which are available finally, um, and some uh, exclusive American uh, Comrade shirts. So make sure you go, go pick those up. Um, these are, are made to order. Once it's gone, that's it, guys. Uh, you've been asking for it. They're here, <laughs> so we hope you guys really enjoy them. Uh, you know, we had uh, these awesome shirts that were designed by Americans, which is cool because that's never really happened before. So please check them out. Um, don't forget the photo contest. It's best. There's two categories. You can do best SHF photo, or you can use your your SHFs to do a little photo comic book. Which uh, we got some entries already. So thank you guys for that. Just something fun we thought we would try. And also, I love comics, so please, please try. <laughs> uh, don't forget <laughs> to check out the guide for the Henchy Together video. Um, you know, the last one we did earlier this year was really great, but we want to make sure uh, we set some more ground rules this time so that the copyright gods don't come and kill us after we upload this video. So that would be great. You'll go here, and then there's like uh, a little link in the first comment, which will lead you here, where you can upload your video. Please, please help us by following the rules. Some of you haven't already, and we know who you are. <laughs> and, of course... Let's start talking about Toe Collectibles. So, Marcus, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about who you are and, you know, kind of why you do what you do? Yeah, I mean, so I, I'm basically like a guy that's like everyone else who's on the street right now. You know, I got hooked on uh, Tokusatsu in general back from, you know, when I was a kid, uh, got back into it. Uh, you know, I really don't have to explain the love for it to the people that are on this stream. But, you know, I was fortunate enough to get in a position where I was able to, you know, work to import some of this stuff in. So it, it seemed like, you know, the perfect thing to do. And and now here we are, like, what, six, seven years later, something like that. Still going. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of love for you right now in the comments. <laughs> hey, Chad. <laughs> I think I think Marcus is more popular than us, David. He is, yes, he is. He is taking over the stream. It's not a contest, guy. It's not a contest. <laughs> Guys, w welcome, welcome to the Marcus to Collectible Stream. Uh, we're, we're your guests, David Clark and Ken Fam. We're just here hanging out with the hosts. <laughs> yeah, they they really they they really appreciate what you do. Um, you know, I, I your store seems really awesome. I always, whenever I go there, I. I tend to to feel my money leaving my wallet, so I, I wanted to say thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the, I love the memes, like the the gift. Whenever a product goes up, you always see the gifts of like you know, like you know, take my money. My favorite one is the guy though that looks down at his wallet. It's like oh, and then looks back down at the wallet. Is anything has changed in the last two or three seconds? Like not nah, <laughs> right. It's gone. It's here. Actually, it's here. <laughs> so. Where's the lie? Oh, Where's man. the lie? <laughs> <laughs> oh man so you know what, what what's it what's it really like like doing like you know like the day-to-day -day, like to like to run a store like this like is it i mean i i, I assume it's gotta be like a lot of a lot of work right <laughs> it is it is <laughs> it's gotten better like a lot of a lot of the folks who know me personally and have you know talked to me and know me over the years from the beginning know that like you know i started this in my home office just doing it myself and at that point it was like i had a full-time job came home afterwards and it was like you know oh, it's like 10 boxes no big deal you know now 50 boxes is a light day so i've had to get some <laughs> had to get some help in here um and it, it's it, it's really weird though because it's like half social media half you know finding and paying for products and half shipping the products and then at the end of the day you get to play with them if you're lucky so right it's it, 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 it's a good balance when it works right <laughs> Although my collection doesn't look as good as yours over in that corner, David. Like both of you guys got your stuff all laid out and making me feel a little inadequate here, but you know I'll work through the pain. And, you know, yeah, th 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 this is my temporary replacement for. Uh, I'm, I got a what do you call it? A, a detolf that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm waiting to put together. So I got this this little cheapy thing here as a as a placeholder. <laughs> so I get so I get it set up. <laughs> well, well, if anything, Marcus, uh, if if anything. Uh, 
like part of the part of that collection was uh help from your guys' store anyways. <laughs> <laughs> It's, well, at least it's going to some good use there. I, I like to see it in action. <laughs> <you know. laughs> oh man! So you know, let's, let's let's learn a little bit more about you. Um, <clears throat> what's your favorite common writer, and why is it Gaim? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this, David. We talked about this. Like, <laughs> God is messing with your mind right now. <laughs> nah. Uh it's it's X it's X Aid. I don't I couldn't, you know, like I, I don't know why. The first time I saw, you know, the preview for X Aid, I was like, what in the whole like what is this like nonsense? And then like from from episode one, I was just like hooked. I was like, this is so zany and ridiculous. And then you know, Poppy did her transformation at the end, and I'm just like, oh, it's over. Like this is this is it. Like I, I think it was the that year. I forced my wife to dress as Poppy for for Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it looks like so, you have some other people who agree with you. Got some XA. Let's thank go. You. Thank you. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Level it's a, up. Exactly. There you go. It, it's, it's such a, an oddball series, you know that. Like I, I, I just like it, and, and I like Here's it's one. one that's, that's not how you pronounce it. Build, <laughs> build is, is uh, all right. So, so, so can I can. Uh, I don't want to hate on anyone's thing, right? But I feel like XA did the whole, like, you know, a lot of series, they have like different sections to them, like, you know, the, the oh, different arcs, sorry. And then like halfway through the show, like the arc changes, <clears throat> ghost, and you're like, what the heck just <laughs> happened, right? But I feel like XA did that well. <laughs> they, they did that really well. I feel like Bill did it pretty well, but there was a point that you could tell that they were just like, oh crap, we need like 10 more episodes. Let's just throw this to the wall. Get rid of that, and Bill will be on my list too at the top. So, sorry guys, Hyper Muteki is like an amazing form. Like, come on, the dreadlocks, man. He's got the oh, come on. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a good series. <laughs> it's funny. Andrew uh, said when, the same thing too. Yeah, when, when Andrew <laughs> told me about about Hyper Muteki, he, I was like, he's like, so you know how when Mario, when you get the star, he's like, yeah, it's like <laughs> that but all the time. <laughs> it's just always hyper. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm like that sounds so broken until I found out about Gaim <laughs> being God, and then I yeah I, I yeah. learned. <laughs> you know, they they pretty much had to send him off to his own dimension at the end of the series, otherwise he would just like break everything <laughs> yeah. else afterwards. So it, it, it <laughs> they like wrote themselves yeah. into a corner. There. <laughs> like all, all, all my favorite writers have to like they have to because like basically I, I, I love Gaim, and then also I love Omazio. Like you can't just have Omazio. Just be in a show regularly, like I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I was gonna ask, like, if you're into God Riders, like, what what about him? Like, that was that that's another one that's on my top. That one started, in my opinion, kind of rough. Like, it was really episodic, mm -hmm. and like they were just really trying to get like you know the nostalgia in there by like, getting an episode for each rider, and it kind of felt like it was written by different people because duh, mm -hmm. in the end it was. But I right. feel like that came together really, really well. And I was expecting like some some twist or some craziness, but in the end, it's like no, that really was his future self. He was that much of an asshole, but in the end, yeah. he was like, "Do you, bro? Go ahead, yeah. go back in, in time and do you." That, that I mean, true. I think I think Zeal was like my second or third series, and the opening where he just like just froze time, just like effortlessly. Like I'm like, <laughs> it's like Thanos, but a common writer. <laughs> I love this. Um, but yeah, I mean, and also one of the things I really loved about uh, about Omazio, just real quick, I think I, I think it was it was in the the last Zio movie where you find out like there was like another Tokyo Wasogo who was like the who was supposed to be like the actual person, right? right. And then like Oma tells tells him, not yeah, it was never our destiny, it was our willpower that made us who we are. And I'm like, oh, just so cool. <laughs> You know, I love that. It's not destiny. No, no I decided it. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I I think that series. Like, I I feel like, I feel like a lot of people didn't give that series a chance, and and you he was inevitable. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of people didn't give that series a chance, and and it really is like a solid series. Like the characters were all great. I, it was great. Yes, how could you forget about Waz? Like, come on. Like, that was like one of the greatest like side riders in, in all time. Like, you yeah. don't even think. You know what I mean? Like, like Gase was like nah, whatever compared to Oz. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I love when, when, when he made what was he when, when he made him EY at the end. Like, he, yeah. he, was, like, he was like, whoa, what? Like, <laughs> you know. Uh, but like, the oh, thing man, is, is, for people who, for people who don't like Zio, keep my Zio was really good for someone like me who was just getting a writer because through Zio, I was able to see a little bit of every mm -hmm. single common writer, which let me know 
what shows I wanted to go watch afterwards. Like it was like a good right. sample platter, you know. Right. Um, I think and, and was, I think that helped and hurt it yeah. because it, it, like it had the elements of every show during the right. like, throwback episodes, but it made it feel a little disjointed. But it was a really good like you know homage to you know like the, the, those series. So. Right, I, I still think it's a solid series. <laughs> yeah, it, it's something good. It was weird when when the guy episode came on. I was like, "This is kind of weird." I don't know what this I is. And I watched time, <laughs> and I was I was like, "I was wrong." It was perfect the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it it was me that was wrong. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um. But yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, I, I know during during the the whole you know pandemic things have, have been nuts. Uh, what what was it like for you o- o- over the last? However long it's been, because time no longer has meaning. Uh, <laughs> Dude, it's it's been crazy. Like, uh, like obviously everyone was like started working from home and then rediscovered their love of the things that were on the shelf behind them while they were working. And it was yeah. just kind of like, I need that, you know, model kits like poof, blew through the roof. You know what I mean? Like, like, every, like you would think during that time things would have slowed down. No, it like it like blew up. It it, it was ridiculous, and I loved it because. I got to, you know, kind of sample everything that came through the door. So <laughs> that's always good. I <laughs> uh, got, got, got another comment uh, <laughs> for you. People, you, <laughs> you're, Zinga, like, that, oh, that looks good. <laughs> your, your, your site eats my money, uh, honestly. Random <laughs> question. Do you have a an Omazio SHF that David can has? Please, hmm. <laughs> I'm asking I you right it. here on the spot. You know what? <laughs> let's, uh, put me on the spot there. <laughs> let's search. Let's search. <laughs> no, that that so that re-releases this month, right? And then, uh, is it? Yeah, I think I actually have it up on the calendar. That re-releases later this month. So no! that pre-order is closed. That pre-order is yeah. closed, but then maybe you know, just just hold out hope. You know, look at just him. <laughs> this man is a hero. Dude. It was such a good figure. And then, like, I think so many people slept on it because they kind of, like, announced it. Not early, but, like, earlier than maybe usual for somebody like him. And then, like, when it came out, everyone was like, just like you, a guy. I'm like, I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Right. So, thankfully, Tamashi realized where they screwed up and reproduced it. Because even, you know, they, they you know how they do with their figures. So, they were just like, yeah, 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 we screwed up as well. Let's get this back out the door. Oh, my god. So, hopefully, oh. I, think, I think it's the 18th or something this month it releases in Japan. So, we should be seeing that pretty soon. Yes, and we've got crazy. I, I happened to f- I, I just found Gaim stuff. It's, I don't know how that works. I just <laughs> <laughs> just just drawn to it. it. It was the will, not yeah, it was the the- <laughs> quite a coincidence. <laughs> quite a coincidence. Uh, but uh, there's so many. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have a uh, stuff from stuff that I don't have yet. Yay. <laughs> One day. Yeah, we'll see those coming through. I mean, I, I, I'm really curious how people are, you know, feeling about what you've seen of, of the right. series so far. You know, I'm, I'm, I, this is another one I think that was like uh, X Age for me. When I first saw it, I was like, what the heck's going on? And then there's two, and one of them was like, an, and then like I saw clips from the movie, which, you know, technically shouldn't see since I'm not in Japan right now, but. I think it's going to be an interesting. I think. Yeah, Don't that's say right. no. <laughs> I think I, I think it's going to be an interesting series. You know, I'm I'm on board to give it a try. <laughs> Man, I, I also I love the layout of your of your website too. It's like, it just you go there and you're like, hey, spend all this money real quick. That looks great cool. right now. Yeah, yeah. I wish, yeah. I, I want to put so many more things there, and then there's like so many things that I think are really cool that no one else cares about. So I'm like, all right, I'm not going to put it front and center but like you really should take a look at it so <laughs> go look but oh man this is this is dangerous this is dangerous saber <laughs> i know saber oh uh, wait you know what hold on. Let's, just... let me see do you have <laughs> where so right is... now right right now God. we are we are live streaming david adding items to his shopping right <laughs> yeah <now. laughs> It's not, even, it's not even retail therapy because he feels great right now and he just like he's just still going. Welcome, anyway. w- w- welcome to me buying things on stream. Where is the? I know it's a guy in book. Where where is it? Is it go. Aha! Yeah, no. Yeah. No. I, you know what, David? You know what, David? I kept one personally to put on my little, like, you know, my shelf, my Hondana. I I, I will bequeath it to you. I'll see you at Anime NYC and I will bequeath it to you. Thank you. Hey, uh, why why you gotta put him on the spot like that, David? I, I, didn't, I didn't even ask. He plays I just, dirty. He plays dirty. You, you you have the stream live. You just happen to go on the page. 
happened. It, I, I just happened to see it. <laughs> totally, totally not not planned at all. But, but uh, you know, Marcus, so what's what's one thing that you or even several things that you wish customers knew about about you and the store? Maybe kind of like the process that might help you out if they knew. You know. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, like, I don't know if they need to know this, but first know that for the most part, I'm a fan too. You know what I mean? So when we're talking about things, it's like, you know, yeah, I know about that. You're not talking to some random, you know, well, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes it's not always me answering the messages. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's But like, you know, I am a fan there too. But I, I, another thing I know, and like, you know, I don't want you to like see this as like a pity party or whatever, but like, we all give a damn, you know what I mean? Like we, we like, you know, we'll have times where people are like, you know, oh my God, like, why am I still waiting for this? And it's like, listen, when stuff comes in, like we do our best to get that thing right back out the door the same day. You know, like I've talked to Ken before, like Ken, sorry, no, we can't talk now. We're getting these orders out. Like that's that. Yeah, so yeah. know that we bust our asses to make sure that everyone gets their pla plastic crack on time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or as soon as possible. You know what I mean? I, you need to have that hit. And I, I don't want to hold that from anyone. You know, that that would just be irresponsible. <laughs> well, because like there's that there's that chunk of time right there that we were just trying to prepare for the shipment for the Sengoku drivers and all that because we want to oh, make sure yeah. that. Oh yeah. So we just oh, wanted to make sure crazy. like the whole timing process was <laughs> yeah. working for everybody. Yep. Yep. Damn. I wanted to make sure I had extra hands on deck to make sure that because like that was a <laughs> that was a big one because it's not even just like the volume, but remember like those things are freaking huge. I mean, anyone who hasn't gotten one, that thing is pretty huge. Yeah. Oh, Tokyo, and Texas. Uh, you yeah. can ask David that. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say. So this is actually <laughs> it is get, it is being loaded on a boat, like as we speak. Um, for anybody who maybe is not aware of uh, the state of the world, uh, I think oh, I think Ken's going to get his driver. There's a shipping crisis worldwide, <laughs> and so it it's makes really getting screwy. even even simple things that used to take like two yep. or three weeks. It's a little bit longer now. Wait, can you? Yeah, look at that box. Look at that box. Like, Did I, you just get like, this Goku driver? Like, there you like, go. Like this, that, that whole thing right there Hundreds is this of whole, those we had this to deal whole with. Ball. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Crazy. So, so it's like, we it's went like, back it's, and forth, like trying to figure out the best way to get that out the door, like packaging yeah. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. How so many? Like, it's more power to you guys for <laughs> handling all of that. Right. More power to all yeah. you guys doing all of that. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the decade stuff is coming. It's being lit on a boat. So, you know, God yep, willing, yep. it'll be here the next few weeks. Uh, but trivia time. How many Sengoku CSMs do you think I have? I'm going to say three, because you probably no. have one to rock, one to stock. Four. Oh. Four. Four. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, did, you, did, you, did you keep that one that, you know, the original actor sweated on in that video, David? Did you keep it? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course no. not. <laughs> no. But no, I, 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 got, I got one. For I got one for uh, for for each of the three main writers because there's only three. I only acknowledge three, and then I got one for the the the, the mass produced guys. There. There's only three. There's no <laughs> Ryuki doesn't count. He lost that right. That man betrayed us, homie. Over I'm a girl who didn't even want you on that. I'm gonna stand with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that's that's you know that that those things were huge. Um, and I think when you said like uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I would be disappointed if he did not. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, uh, that, that's another thing that like I would say that people should know that may not know that like we all like you know team common rider included, we try to get you guys this stuff as soon as possible. But like especially right now with COVID, like you know, people are like, oh, I don't see this date on your release calendar. We don't have a date yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's got to get on a boat, and that boat's got to make it here. I remember. I know. I know. Everyone remember when that boat got stuck in the canal over there? Like stuff yeah. happens on the seas, man. <laughs> like the high seas are crazy, and when they it's finally crazy. make it here, then we know. Like we we know. Like all right, so maybe two, three weeks. You know, from this point, but until it gets a little closer, we can't say. So that's why we always guide for like one or two months. You know, after you know what you see Japan did, because we need time to get it here and get yeah. it to you at a decent price. Um, right. So. The there worst thing I hate is whenever something gets like it's on a boat, like the boat gets here and then just sits at the port. I'm like, hey, yep. what are you doing? <laughs> what are you uh yep, just chilling? Just chilling on a boat. Chill? Okay. Is, is, that, is that what we're doing? Is that what's cool in the streets right now? Just go sit here holding up <laughs> stuff. Like uh for those of you out there who, who bought the who bought the Miles Morales uh GameStop uh figure, like it was here <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Just the government wouldn't let us get it. I, I was at the point where I'm like, look, I can get a U-Haul. 
I can get down there. I, I know, just load I them up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's ridiculous. Like it's 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 like, and then people say like, you know, oh well, I ordered this, you know, direct from Ami, and I got it. The government treats a box this big going to an individual very different than they do like huge pallets of things going to a yeah. business. Like this, it, for you guys, they're like, yeah, whatever, we'll slip this through. For us, they're like, what's that? What is it? Wood in it? It's like what? No, I said it's a plastic action figure. Well, what kind of wood is in it? Are you trying to trick yeah. me? Like this? <laughs> it's ridiculous! Like all these paperwork back. Oh, it's ridiculous. So yeah, our, our, yeah. We, we, we had we had one figure that that, that, that got picked for a uh, for um like random inspection for like to make sure it's not a weapon, bro. It says action figure. Like you can look at it. It's an action figure. <laughs> like trust me, like, it's not a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> but then they don't stop when we when we actually get like you know weapons come through like we had those yeah. memorial restrictions <laughs> and it's like these are big ass swords technically they're right. not going to hurt anyone but it literally says that this is a big ass sword and you're like oh that's right. fine <laughs> it's fine nobody it's, carries it's, swords down through the street right, it's know? fine <laughs> Sengoku driver that's dangerous stop it immediately <laughs> <laughs> you know why it was it was because they thought you were teaching the fruit religion over here in the US right exactly I, just, like, <laughs> I don't want I don't want religion in my toys <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Parents picketing. Uh, Do you see what the hell they're teaching our kids? <laughs> yes. What is about, about oranges? About the what? <laughs> Wait, gine pine arm. Sure sounds like wood to me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know what it does to you, all right? Keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but uh, no, yeah, so it, it, it does. Yeah, it's ridiculous on all points. Like we we do. There's a lot more than you guys realize that goes into this, just because. I feel like it got worse lately too. Like after COVID restrictions yeah. lifted, it's like more customs agents came back to work and they were like, hey, we need something for these guys to do. Let's stop like one in every three boxes for whatever reason and hold it for weeks on end. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. So we're not yeah. holding your crap, you guys. It's it's right. <laughs> we, we, we want it out the door as fast as possible. So we're trying. <laughs> uh, I got <laughs> a question for you, Marcus. Right what are your thoughts on the revised merch? Uh, order my driver uh, already from Tokyo Locals. Appreciate that. Um I, I, I don't know. Like, so when they announced the stamps thing, right? Like, I was reading it and I was like, I was first thinking postage stamps. And, <laughs> and then I saw what they were and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So some of you guys may not know, but a lot of this merchandise, like, gets sent over for wholesale months in advance before we know what it is. So it just says, like, you know, item after, you know, you know. New series, item whatever. A. <laughs> don't know what it is. You got to order a bunch and you don't know what it is because if you don't order it, you're not getting it. So I saw that and then I was like, wow, why are there no Gashapon? And then I saw that they were like, you know, SG and I was like, oh, okay. So then when I finally saw the actual, you know, products because we don't get toy catalogs anymore. We don't get the, well, I don't, David probably does. So, you know, we don't get the pictures. When I saw it, I was like, this is really, really weird, but could work. Once again, like my mind went straight to X8, like, you know, with the Gashats. It was like, those are so weird, but they work. Right. You know what I mean? Seeing this little, like, you know, etch a sketch looking thing where he's dry ever. <laughs> and I think they have like a lot, like, you know, it's going to be zany on camera, but as a gimmick, I think they they, they can do a lot with that. Um, for collectors, I think it's probably going to be a little bit of a problem because they look like they're, they're kind of big. Um, so like storing and displaying, they're going to take up a lot of space compared to like a Wonder Ride book or even like a shot. But we'll see how it goes. I I, I think it looks cool. The characters seem cool. Um, I love the funky, crazy colors on it. Like it's not taking itself too seriously from what I see. So we'll have to see how it goes. Right. You know. Yeah. Got another question for you from the, uh, from the chat. Uh, have you heard of our Lord and Savior Fruit Jesus? <laughs> no. That's a you see, so David showed up at my door. <laughs> <laughs> with a yeah. banana in hand and, yeah. and not going, and I was just like, no, go away. I don't have time for it. <laughs> Orange arms. <Let's> go. <laughs> uh, oh, here's, here's a funny comment. The government's going to stop the Neo Decca driver in K-Touch 21. Make sure no one can stop Omazeo. <laughs> <laughs> that is a conspiracy. Work that, with. <laughs> that sounds very American, yes. Yep. <laughs> oh, so here's, wait, where, there, there is one more comment that seems hilarious. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's something about you owning somebody's wallet, which I'm like, sounds about right. <laughs> Here we go. I've got, a, I've got a bin somewhere. <laughs> i got a bin somewhere. What's up, Ravon? i got a bin somewhere of just wallets. I don't know where I put it, but <laughs> 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 just you deposit your wallet and leave it in there. We're going to move on to uh, just you give us your, your ACH information, and we'll just auto bill you for everything that comes out. It's, and, it's <laughs> <ridiculous>. <laughs> <laughs> so much wire transfer. <laughs> at, 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 a, at a certain point, it's like, look, a percentage of my paycheck, just pay me and stuff. Because you already know, like, I'm going to just buy it anyway. <laughs> oh, man. 
Like I said, that's one of the biggest things that have come for me personally out of owning this store is that I would just buy all this stuff anyway. So now I get to be a little bit like I see it come through. I'm like, oh, that's really, really cool. And I get to sample it without, you know, buying it. So that's all right. Uh, see, I would agree. Yeah, yeah he, he's pretty good. You should uh, come back later this week when we have our villains panel where we're going to talk about uh, all the villains of Kamen Rider since we, you know, we, we always talk about the heroes, but let's give the villains some love. The villains yeah. make the show. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Hey, I'll, wait. I'll, I'll vote for him. AJ is alive. He's alive. He's just not here, <laughs> I guess. Or, or, or AJ, is this the ghost? Is this your ghost? I was about to say, is this just an imposter or <laughs> the ghost of writer past? <laughs> the ghost of writer's past. <laughs> is it a good comment? Tell collectibles packages my items securely and always arrive safely in a timely manner. Thank you. That's that's important. Try to. Yes, try to. We try to. Yeah, I've there's, had there's so much bubble wrap. Oh my god, I've had some bad things. <laughs> like I, I once I ordered some uh, some some Digimon cards once, and it came in like a thin folder where it was like creased and bent, and like Ooh. dirty. And I was like, like the trading cards. Yeah, trading cards. I was like, oh man, condition Not even matters. Like a top loader. <laughs> it, no, it was the card in between two other cards with tape around it. And I was like, uh, I guess get that a lot in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, guess like who's going to be that, the order? Make it, a top, make it a top loader sandwich because then at least, you know what I mean, there's some rigidity, but, you know. I don't yeah, know. sad face. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, now that the world is back to normal-ish, uh, are you looking forward to, to getting out back to cons and stuff and actually seeing human beings again? Yes, definitely. For the most part, there was a con in the area here recently. And, you know, I was talking with the team. I was like, maybe we should go there and just like set up a table. Um, and then what happened? No, Super Mini Pla, uh Gao King happened and no one left. So <laughs> we never went there. But I'm really excited. Like, I, I don't know how much sense it would make for us to go exhibit at a con, but definitely hitting the floor and, you know, mingling and circulating and everything like that. I love it. I don't I, I was saying this to Ken the other day that, David, I think you and I met years ago and didn't even realize it. <laughs> you were running. I think you were running like the the the, the, the model kit table. Uh, yeah, New York Comic Con, and like my kid walked by, I was like, "What was that?" And I was like, "Well, we're, like I was telling him, and you were like, oh, you can actually build one.'" I'm like, "Oh, really? Let's go sit down and build one." So we built the Gundam, brought it home. You know, it, yeah. So it, it, it it's just crazy. We love we love going to the cons and just doing that nice. stuff. So probably won't do a vendor thing, but you know, definitely yeah. want to mingle and circulate. And hey, you know, once we start doing the team writer meetups, which we may or may not have info on at the last <laughs> panel this week. You should definitely come out and come to those. And, I'm, so, uh, I'm so mad I missed the last one because that was like right before the world shut down too. It so was. was like no follow up. And I was supposed to be in New York that weekend. And I was just like, oh. But, it was crazy. Yeah, we had we had a whole year planned of stuff, like of meetups. We actually like, I can't remember. We had like prizes put aside. We're like, yeah. It's gonna be a good year. We were so we ready. Chicago, we were so ready, and then right? the world happened, and then the we world happened. Chicago, <laughs> no more cons. We're like, but, <laughs> but my plans. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. The prizes found a new home behind Ken, right there on the shelf. There, I'm sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're, they're actually they're still <laughs> they're still in a big box marked Team Common Rider Meetup at my desk. All right, they're still <laughs> no, they're so. waiting. They are waiting. To be given out to you guys when meetups come out, they will just be a couple years older. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right; they're oh. still potent. It's good. They are. They are. They're still, they're still good, and you know, and we'll have some new stuff too, which will be part of what we're talking about at uh, the last panel. So make sure you guys come out to that later this week. Um, but uh, yeah, so before uh, before we you know wrap up, is there anything else that you'd like to tell people about? I mean, literally anything about you know you and your business. Oh, you see, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys know, like, I mean, like, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're doing what we're doing. We're trying to, uh, <laughs> he wasn't, because you were dead. No, let me stop. You were dead. <laughs> He's always <laughs> dead. <laughs> always dead. Who's this AJ? <laughs> keeps, keeps bombing the pan on here. But <laughs> um, no, I, I think, like, so first of all, I, I think, uh, I think that Team Ride is going to try to have presence at panels all across the country, you know, cons all across the country. So maybe you don't have to worry too much about teleporting to New York. Um, and then beyond that, you know, like I'll just say that I'm really excited for what we all have in store for the year. <laughs> We're working hard here to, you know, increase capacity and everything like that and bring you guys some really cool stuff. And I'm sure you guys will go over that at some future point. So, yeah. 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear from you. Uh, you know, me and Ken, obviously, thank you. Uh, guys, if you're watching, you, got, you need to know, Marcus is a huge part of why Team Commander can do what we do. Basically, every report we send back to, to Bondi and Toei, we go, so here's what Toku Lectibles is doing right now. You know, <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's a, he, he's, a, he's a big part of why things have been getting easier and easier for Kamen Rider as a whole. So definitely, you know, show your love and appreciation for him and Toku Collectibles on social media. Uh, go buy stuff from him. You know, if you want, you can buy things from him and send it to me. That's that's fine as well. Um, <laughs> to I probably shouldn't the... be saying this. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this, but like, buy it in general. I mean, if you're in freaking GameStop yeah. and you see a Saber statue, buy it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, yeah. show them that we care over here so that we start getting right. more stuff over here at a decent price. You know, like, people say, like, oh, man, that's super expensive. Let's get that price down by getting them to give us the good stuff here. Yes. So, and you know, one thing, guys, <laughs> I appreciate everybody who goes to your website and they pick the the U.S. release uh, for things. I yes. appreciate them. Because one thing that I, I, I'm not sure everyone knows, so, you know, I'll say it here. So, when you buy the Japan release, you'll probably get it earlier. However, Japan doesn't know that that unit is going to America, so right, they right. they don't count that. But when you buy from when you hit the U.S. release on on, on Tokyo Collectibles, mm -hmm. they know that. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, yep. please help and us. And you pay a little bit less. Easier. So, yeah. <laughs> if, you can, exactly. if you can wait, I know I know not everyone can wait, and I know some people are like, I need this right now. Totally get it. That's why the option still exists. But if you want to see them bring more stuff over here and bring that price yeah. down a bit, you know what I mean? Like I said, buy buy the U.S. release. If you see it in, you know, GameStop, anywhere else, buy it. Right. You know, if yeah. you want it. I'm not telling you to just throw your money around. But right. you know what I mean? Like, your support it, it, there helps us really do what helps. we do here. <laughs> it really helps. Um, so, you know, please, guys, remember, the, the, the bigger numbers we throw at them, the more they go, hey, give them more stuff. Give yep. them more stuff. Yep. <laughs> we and we yep. need more. Hey, wait! I got a comment. Yeah, I'm not. Just, I'm not just a guest anymore. Woo! <laughs> Plus one point to David. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, then uh, yes, we we were really happy to be able to get these SMA Rise keys. That yes. that was really cool. We I was like I, I we've been asking for zero one stuff for the longest. And I mean, and, and when and they, um, <laughs> yeah, when I got the email, I was like, yo, let's go. <laughs> like you usually, whenever I get the emails, I'll tell Ken, tell Marcus right now. <laughs> tell him yeah, right that's, now. He did. He did. And that's, I was literally, that's, that's literally in the car. <laughs> I was in the car on the way to a camping trip for the weekend and Ken hits me up. I'm like, oh shit, I got to tell people that right away. And I'm like looking at my wife and I'm like, I can't really just like pull over here and like update that. You know, I was like. All right, I'll wait till we get to the campsite. I'll I'll, I'll hold off. But damn, that's crazy. That's good. <laughs> so <laughs> definitely, you know, and we want to see more releases like that. More things that go premium Bandai that can come over here as a normal release. Boom, that'd be great. We'll be sending like a, a good prices and you know, help support Ryder here in the states. Show them we mean business. <laughs> I see. Uh, need those zero one Blu-rays. Uh, can't say anything right now, but I would just say uh, you might want to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Keep looking at uh, 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 you know what we're bringing out. Shout Factory is hard at work at a lot of stuff, so mm -hmm. uh, you know. And and I'm also make sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, when Shout Factory does releases, both digital and physical, when that starts to happen, support them too. That's also a big part of it too. <laughs> you know, to get yep. to get more of it as a whole. You know, when you see Ryder come over here, support. You know, find yep. the one you find the hurt if you email them. them. It doesn't hurt if you email them and tell them to prioritize yeah. X8 as well. Just, you know, putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was funny. Like, I, I said, I told them, I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, Ari over at Shout Factory. I was like, hey, you know, uh, Gaim. And he was like, uh, <laughs> what's Gaim? And I'm like, Ari, I thought Ooh. we were friends. I thought we were friends. <laughs> no, he knew about it. He just, he likes to screw with me. <laughs> but, but like, they, they work really hard over, over there. Like, to, like to, just to get one entire series done is a massive it's a massive undertaking, guys. So I know everyone is, you know, hoping for you know for more and more shows. They're doing the best they can, you know, uh, to get it out. And keep in mind, like they're doing it like under pandemic rules. So that made everything even worse. <laughs> so yep, yep. So oh, again, not telling you to do with your money, but if you see it come out and you want to see the show, you want to support it, 
definitely stream it. You know, get the Blu-rays. David needs Gaim on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Say less for, for your <laughs> Say less. I don't like to play the card, but if you want to do that, that's fine too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh, definitely, it, it was good talking to you. I can't wait to see you, uh, hopefully in person at at one it's of them fun. cons. Yeah, yeah, one of yeah. the cons. We're we're we're, we're going to be doing a lot of back to back shows. I think I'll be out in New York. I think at least twice in the fall, uh, which will be good. And then, uh, oh wait, one last high quality comment that you guys need to see. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be, you know, I I agree. I agree oh, with man. this a hundred percent. You're just gonna make it even more dark and dirty, and I might be down for that. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Ken's oh, like, I'm man. out of here. This is not for me. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, Marcus, you know, uh, before we go, uh, where can uh, people uh, uh, where, where can people follow you? Hold on, wait one one. I just saw blasphemy in the comments. <laughs> AJ, Ooh. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. I want you to know this. He's already but, uh, dead, though. So there's not much you can do about it. <laughs> I will, I will pull a comrade ghost and bring him back, and then kill him again, and then kill him, <laughs> and then exercise him after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, where can people uh, find you guys? Uh, find you online? Uh yeah. So I know I should have put that in the thing there, but uh, uh, Twitter at to Collector T O K U L L E C T O R. I hate. Writing that all out, but <laughs> the website is uh, made that easy. It's toku.store. Uh, you can, you know, if you want revised stuff, toku.store slash revise slash gaim for David. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, whatever, whatever show you're going for. Um, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you got that. Got that on Twitter. I know right now it's very heavily Sentai, but you know, as you all know, uh, we're just transitioning over to revise, so that should change pretty pretty soon. Um, we got some. I know people are always talking about the packaging tape that we. That we throw up and everything. So we got uh some from Revice coming soon. Are oh, you like, getting oh, Digimon? Digimon. <laughs> oh man, David, Marcus, I already please, got you my wallet. wallet. What else can you? What please. Else can you <laughs> what I, uh, <laughs> here, I, I have a cell phone. You can have this, please. <laughs> <laughs> for, oh, for those no. asking too, I know people keep asking, and I haven't posted anything official because we're still waiting to hear back. But we're going to try to bring those uh right there when you're scrolling down the common writer. Uh, oh no. Uh, yeah, there you go. The, well, that, no, that one's Ultraman. That one's Ultraman. Yeah, the, yeah there's a... Uh, here we go. David, uh, you know what? Go. Yeah, David, we need to get this over as a U.S. release. You know, people... I, 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 I'm working please, on the Japanese release, but... I've on. been working on it. I've been, I've been telling them, like, <laughs> hey, please. Please. <laughs> David needs... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no. And everyone keeps asking. Australia. We're going to try to get those over, but yeah, if if Team Common Rider can get that over here again, like I said, you guys supporting U.S. releases on stuff will get things over here, and, and we can get some of this stuff. Because especially in a case like this, it's not enough to import it. Half the time, you want to be able to read and understand it. So yeah, <laughs> so just like those Shout Factory DVDs, we want to get that. You know, get that over here. So yeah, no, it, it'll be oh, great to have things <laughs> translated. That definitely would be good. Uh, yep, you know, but you know, it, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot of hard work, guys. But it's work we're willing to do because honestly, I need to buy things with my employee discount. <laughs> that that you can you can rest That's assured, it. we have a personal motivation to bring this over. <laughs> always, always. You take away one thing from this stream is that all of us are fans. <laughs> yes, exactly. And while we love helping you guys, it's not just about you. <laughs> it's, it's really about us to get stuff cheaper. <laughs> Exactly. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody so. wins. <laughs> People really would like to have a line of credit with you. If you could get like <laughs> a get, get, get like a Total Expo Mastercard or something, you know? You know I just like that. <laughs> Jahil knows. I tried before. It was like one of those services before Shop Pay that was like paying for installments or whatever. And they were like, "No, we don't approve of your business model." I'm like, "Well, excuse you then, sir." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris asked about the packaging tape. Uh, I have an artist, so people don't notice, but in my previous life, I was an app developer. I still am, and I develop games. And I have an artist that I've always worked with who does, you know, chibi drawings for me, different things for me. Um, and I go to them when I need it. Some, sometimes I'll license out. There's a guy on Instagram, Kevin the Panda. He does the Ultraman tape, and I, I actually had him do one for Trigger for me. So that's going to be shipping those out pretty soon. But uh, they do the the characters and i you know sit at my computer for long hours and figure out how to get it on some packaging tape and then we get it to you but it's all worth it when i see people excited about the uh the tape like everyone was like oh that's a stupid waste of time no i showed him a tweet i'm like look at that he loved the tape 
Did you? Yeah. <laughs> like that, that that's how you know you got some good fans. They're like the tape you use is amazing. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, it definitely was worth like in the beginning I was like, oh this is this probably is maybe a little silly, but I was like, I don't care, it's worth it. I want to do it. Where can I, I buy a rose? <laughs> <laughs> Not at that point yet, but uh, you know, maybe we'll slip a little in some extra. There was <laughs> there were some things that went out the other day that we needed to write notes on it. I was like, wow, we don't have any paper here, so we wrote it on some of the tapes. So some people are going to have some of that tape just sitting in their boxes. <laughs> I get it's sad. Right, don't worry the box of the tape. <laughs> all right, it's all right. I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know, this has been great. Thank you for coming on and Definitely. being part of Day State Week Two. <laughs> Uh, guys, don't forget, you know, we have all kinds of cool panels, uh, you know, every day this week. So for Thursday, Thursday is our day of rest uh, because life is chaos right now. We're getting we're getting <laughs> geared up for conventions. And as, as we said yesterday, our con muscles are um, uh, atrophy to hell and back because it's been two years. We're, we're not ready yet. So we need some time to get back up and running. Uh, we got to get our training back. arc. I know, right? Like, oh, my ability to stand on concrete for 14 hours at a time has been uh, Ooh, yeah. been greatly diminished over the, over this <laughs> shutdown period. <laughs> uh, and that is why comment. we're not paying cons. I'll visit your booth, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, come on by and definitely come out with, uh, you know, to the to the uh, uh, to, to the meetups. Uh, you have a lot. You have a lot of uh, dedicated people in here that really really like what you do. So, I mean, that definitely is a reflection of how you do business. So. Uh, definitely, well, appreciate definitely it, good work. We try, we try really hard. So you know, we try. No, we might not always be at that hundred percent mark, but we always try to get right up there. So, thank you. It's it's always appreciated to see that it is appreciated for sure. Right, definitely. So, uh, <laughs> but anyways, guys, until next time. Uh, this has been fun. We will see you guys tomorrow when we continue Heisei Week Two. So until then, we'll see you later, guys. Later, guys. May the fruit protect you. Yeah, I got it. <laughs>